dirty. I just climbed out of the stand and I'm going to head down to the bait. See if I can uh, see any blood trail. Look like I hit him. Um, couldn't tell me. I saw him jump. Kind of squatted down, jumped off, and ran off. Um, so if you've got to hit him, I just don't know what kind of shot. So I'm going to go and uh, take a look. And here's some blood. Two thousand ten Saskatchewan buck. Second chance buck, I guess you might call. <clears throat> Seen him yesterday. I was tempted. He was really unique with his long brow, tying lots of points. And uh, you know, it's the first day I let him go. I don't know how many times I went back and looked at those pictures, wondering if I made a mistake. So I said, well, I'll come back to Willie Stand, and if he comes out, he was meant to be. If not, then uh, he was meant for something else. But uh, lo and behold, he did come out at 3.30. Um, quite a bit later than he came yesterday. And uh, the way he spooked yesterday, I honestly didn't think he'd be back. But he kind of showed up, and honestly didn't even take the time to think. So I pulled the trigger. I couldn't quite tell for sure how I, I knew I hit him, but not how well. And uh, got up to the bait. It's pretty good blood if you hit lungs. So he was only, I don't know, 15 yards away laying. But uh, I don't know how he scored, but it really don't matter. He's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 points. Is a beautiful buck. Lots of lots of character. So. Yeah, I'm standing on behind the bait pile. You can see the uh, line back there. It's the lily stand. <laughs> I was hoping I never got a 160. Wow, that's cool. I beat my record.